Are you listening? Damn. Now Mazda has redesigned the CX-5, adding refinement to the suspension, gifting the CUV more technology, and installing a classier, more practical interior, addressing the few areas that we had noted could use improvement in the outgoing model. Mazda stiffened the CX-5 structure by 15% and added a rash of new sound attenuating measures extra seals for the doors and additional absorption material to quiet the cabin at speed and reduce impact noise over bumps, both among our quibbles with the old CX-5. The underbody paneling was expanded to cover more of the chassis and now is made of a sound insulating felt-like material. Elements of the cargo area trim similarly underwent a switch from hard plastic to carpeted pieces to reduce noise reverberation throughout the interior, and the windshield is thicker. Yet, as dynamically enjoyable as the CX-5 remains, it still isn't quick. It again makes do with a merely adequate naturally aspirated 2.5-litre inline 4, even as many competitors have adopted smaller yet more powerful turbocharged engines. At least the 2.5-litre is now standard, as is a snappy six-speed automatic transmission. Taken in full, the CX-5 once again is a standout among generally stayed ranks, and a fully loaded 2017 CX-5 Grand Touring tops out at $33,465 without premium paint. If past is prologue, our gushing over the CX-5 being fun to drive in a segment allergic to the concept won't keep many competitors from outselling it, by multiple factors in some cases. That's fine by Mazda, which says profitably selling a cohesive and premium brand experience to its customers is more important than trying to dramatically expand its volume. For our part, we'll continue to be impressed if Mazda can keep improving its already excellent lineup while keeping its car's spirit intact as it did here.